Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm glad you guys are back. I'm excited. I've got some exciting news. Obviously, the MLB draft is coming up. We're going to knock out some recruiting. We have a huge series against Clemson. But guys, what I want to tell you is I was looking at the schedule and we only have we have like 20 games left in the regular season. And I don't want this to drag out on all year long. I know you guys are excited about the, the Hurricanes baseball season, college baseball. But now that we're into June, my plan is I want to knock this thing out. I want to get through this season. So what I'm going to do is check out for more videos all the time, not just once a week. I'm going to try to release it every day if I can. But the big news is, so we again, we're going to play Clemson, three game series, game three. I want to stream it live. That's the big news I've got. I want to start doing this. I, you guys can jump in, watch it. There's not much sports going on right now. I know it's not the same, but however, let's go ahead and stream it live. Everybody in. Let's let's set that up for Monday at noon, and we'll see how it goes. But I'm excited. Everything's all set up. I've done some live streaming in the past. If you guys like this, we'll keep it going. I have no problems with it. But again, I, I, I just want to get through the season. And I think this is a way to kind of go a little bit quicker. Clemson's obviously a big-time team. Got all the real rosters for, the, for their team in here. And obviously, you guys have been paying attention to the series. And, uh, and, and yeah, we got all the, the Hurricanes guys and, and all that stuff. And if you guys like this series, be sure to hit the like button. If you're excited about live streaming of the game, Hit, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything so you know exactly when I'm going live and again I'd like to do more of it and we'll see how it goes but I am excited about it and I'm excited about this series plus like it's a big weekend series against Clemson we had some other games that you guys have seen some other games maybe you weren't as excited about but we're getting into the ACC play. And again, I want to get through this because the college baseball season wraps up in June. That's when the College World Series is. And obviously you can play it at any time. You can watch these videos whenever. But just, you know, just kind of my personal feeling is I'd like to get through this. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. It's called Road to the College World Series. And I want it to happen in June. It's baseball season. You guys are, I, I just want to get everything going. So again, I'm knocking out recruiting while I'm telling you this. It's the simple stuff. Again, going after the top targets, nothing big. That's why I thought I could do both here, but I'm just going through, going through the recruits, adding some points. We're making some good positive, you know, we're, we're, we're positive, you know, headway on these guys. I think we'll, hopefully we'll get close to commit. It seems like we still have ways to go. But I like what we're doing each and every week. We've got the number one ranked team in the country. And let's get right to it. Okay, so here we are. Clemson's 15. Miami, we are number one. We've got a winning streak going. Clemson's a different animal. I know they're struggling a little bit with their overall record. But I was doing some scouting. And they've got a lot of guys in the high 80 ratings, 90s. They have really good players, so I'm excited to go against them. And Brian Van Bell has been huge for us this year. I think my goal for him is to get ACC Pitcher of the Year. I think things are going well. You know, just the wins, the ERA, the strikeouts, it's all going pretty well. So, again, shout out to you guys for, for staying on this. I'm excited about getting through this. Like I said, this is... This is, I've had a lot of other series going on, but this one means a lot to me. This is pretty unique. You don't see a lot of college baseball series out there with the 2020 rosters. I don't know. Maybe you guys know. But college baseball is great, and I can't believe we are already into June. It kind of hit me, and I wrote an article about it. Man, that's a tough hit. He comes up and throws. I, I wrote about, you know, Gino kind of made a mention. And let's look at these guys' stats. Yeah, Davis Earp having a big season. And he's fun because he pitches and he hits. And obviously a great player both ways. So I'll have to keep my eye out for him. But Gino talked about how, you know, this was the when the NCAA tournament was about to begin, it was supposed to happen this weekend. It kind of hit me that that the season would be moving along. So I was kind of looking at our season here and 
releasing games or series. I was kind of mixing it up, highlights here and there once a week, but I didn't want this thing to go all the way till December. And, and again, we'll see how things go as far as like keeping the dynasty going. If you guys like it, we'll definitely do it. I'm recruiting. I'm excited for the 2021 season. This one's popped foul. And I don't want to just like put this on the back burner or anything like that. I'm open to playing this whenever. I just thought it would be good to get through this this month. That's my plan. That's my goal. And we'll see how it goes. Fouled out of play. And you got to drop that like button if you guys territory. like that plan. If you want to see If you want to see more Hurricanes baseball. Again, at Mark Light Field here. A great series against Clemson. Get on the ground of the second baseman. We definitely need to get this. We got to win this series. And I feel like part of what's been going on is we had that tough series against the Gators. It was two games, but they had some good players, played well. You know, we've kind of gotten in this groove, and, and, you know, I had those two comeback wins to, to get a sweep there. There's a look at our, our roster there. A lot of games up to seven homers, so we're doing well. But, um, you know, got a big win early that first game. I, I tend to do pretty good on Fridays. Okay. I got to get used to this. Clemson has an outfield that compares favorably with most teams. That's interesting. So that's the thing about this. They have, they have Meredith at first base. He's an outfielder, but kind of making some changes. Again, I'm only coaching the Hurricanes. I don't know what the other team's going to throw out there with their lineups. Okay, that, that might drop. Man, Jordan Lala has just been had a huge season for me. That's a one out what I was double. saying was I noticed I, I with any time someone goes with a left-handed pitcher, it kind of throws me off here. The runner goes. Get down. Throw to third. There we go. Yeah, you guys have, you know, if you're paying attention, if you're just jumping on now, lately I've been very aggressive on the base pass with Tony Jenkins, Lala, Freddie Zamora, those three guys. I'll sneak a stolen base from here and there from other guys. Gabe Rivera. Oh, that's got to get through. But I'm okay with stealing third. And I was hoping to get a sack fly with Del Castillo. Hopefully, Terrell can come through here. That's a solid hit, but that's an out. So I've got to get used to this pitcher. Left handed pitchers always give me a hard time. But, uh, but I'll get locked in here. There's Meredith. I was just talking about him. Getting good ratings. Got to keep my eye out on him. He's out of there. And nothing, no no real big changes with, with the lineup here. Nobody on base and one gone. Skied to center field. Again, pretty easy. Man, I'm excited about the live stream. I know it's crazy, but I want I'm I, I can't do it, but I want to live stream like every day until the season's over. Ground ball or, up the middle. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm definitely gonna do the Clemson game. And depending on how it goes, maybe we do double headers. Guys can grab some snacks and it's great. We do it's got not just a live stream to watch and, and but you can chime in with the chat if you haven't done it yet. You can chat during the game. I'll see what you guys have to say if you want to make moves. You can tell me during the game. Relief pitchers to put in. Warm up guys in the bullpen. Pinch run. Do, do different things. I think that'll be I think that'll be good. I think it, I'm excited. It'll, it's a huge game for me, but I'm willing to take on that extra pressure. A strike call. Like I said, want to get us started and just kind of keep this thing moving. And Clemson fans, obviously more than welcome to jump in. To Gonna right. try to hand your squad an L. Good jump on but definitely be good to have you guys in too. I know you guys are missing college baseball as well. They were playing it to go the other way and the scouting report worked. It was a great break in the outfield and he makes a great catch. So here we go. Giving up some hits, but still scoreless here.
Yeah, this, okay. This pitcher, obviously, not just that he's left-handed, but he's got that little, okay, that little hitch, or he kind of holds it back a little bit. Oh, that's a terrible swing. But that little hitch, I've got to, I got to get my timing right, and then he throws a two-seam fastball, which might not seem like a big deal. And it shouldn't. I don't want to make excuses, but the, it's got a little bit of an extra movement. That you see it, like it, the way it. I don't know. The way it kind of dips in there. Yikes! That was terrible. See, I usually don't swing, and usually I'm locked in here. That drop. Nope. I got that Lala double down the line to drop in the first inning. I'll take those right now. Yeah, I am all over the place. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this pitcher is tough. So last week on the episode, I, I talked about catching a foul ball. I talked a little bit about baseball cards. Not... Not heavy on it. But there's just so much about baseball that's really cool. And I know you guys, if you guys are chiming in, watching oh, this, I know you guys are hoping it comes back and at some form, some level. But the big thing coming up now is the MLB draft. Look out and they've, they've finalized it. It's going to be five rounds, down from 40, and that's going to be that's going to be big time. So, if you go undrafted, the most you can sign for is 20,000, which is really low. Here's Davis Sharp. Yeah, just a beast of a player. Those two-way players in college baseball that are really good hitters and pitchers is really impressive. Not just like the relievers, Swing and a miss on a breaking ball but just ball. those extra level guys that are just really good at both. It's really cool to see. I'm hoping that our recruit out of Pennsylvania is going to be that good. Although it says he's a relief pitcher and an outfielder. Maybe he's a closer. Maybe we can make him a dominant closer. And we definitely need it. Okay, that might drop. We need these to drop. Yeah, I'm not on these at all. I'm late on everything. Right-handed and left-handed batters. Oh, my goodness. That's such a tough pitch. What am I going to do with that pitch? Jeez. Okay. Not just that it's a two-seamer and left-handed, but he's got a little bit of velocity. Okay, we're going to take – that's the kind of hit that we're, we're getting right now. We kept, it, we kept it down the line. It's ugly, but it's like that Lala double. It just – I don't know. It's finding some space. Hopefully I can get locked in with a little more solid contact. That doesn't do anything. But, yeah, I'm going to third. Extra aggressive. Got to take that extra base. But my thoughts on the draft – it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with Miami. The last article I wrote about where guys are ranked, there were eight guys in the top 200. And, oh my goodness. That includes current players on the current team and also guys they've signed. And I think it's just going to be really intriguing all the way around. second. Now that I think about it, we oh there we go. Hey, we'll take it. I think that. Think, yeah, we're gonna take that 1-0 lead, but maybe just kind of like thinking maybe we go live stream during the draft. I don't know if there's that much interest. You know, Miami's got two pitchers projected in the first round. The latest mock draft that I saw, again. Staying on the first round, and it's really been that way. Now, okay, I will take that one for sure. That's a solid contact hit to the opposite field down the line. 
that hit, it gives his team a chance to score a 2 -0 Okay, run. I don't know how we have a 2-0 lead. I don't feel good about what I'm doing at the plate. A little bit low. But we'll take it. I don't feel like I need many runs with Van Bell on the mound. Two gone. Breaking ball stays I know he's... I know Clemson's got a good lineup. But what I've noticed kind of all year is there's not many batters that give them trouble. So I feel really confident about this game. But before the season, McMahon, Chris McMahon and Slade Ciccone, both pitchers, were both projected to be first-round picks, and nothing's really changed. It's going to be interesting to see where they end up. But they definitely, it definitely doesn't seem like they're going to be back at Miami next season. And if there was one that was more likely than the other, you'd have to look at Slade because he's a sophomore, a draft-eligible sophomore, who might decide to... There's a grounder to uh, first. Where, depending on where he would be picked, maybe he looks at it like he could be even higher the next year if he wants to take that gamble. He hits a grounder Again, to the third base a chance to put together a full season, a full dominant season. But again, I'm not expecting either of those two guys to be back. But I think the ones to watch, I think Van Bell here is going to be interesting. Does he come back for a sixth season next year? Again, all players get a year back eligibility after what happened this year. But I don't think Van Bell would be a top five round pick. He's not projected to be on what I've seen. Okay, that's a little bit better of a hit. But these are definitely... Okay, man, I thought he was definitely in there. I'm definitely not smoking them, but... If we just cut down on the swings and misses, we got a shot. But Van Bell's one to watch. I think Alex Terrell is a very interesting one. Oh, that might drop also. Yeah, it dropped. I didn't know what to do with my runner. Got a base, but I don't know if I could have scored anyways. But Terrell at one point in high school was very highly sought after, highly regarded, top 100 type prospect. Didn't have the senior year he would have liked and ended up at Miami. And last year he had over 20 homers. You know, so there's, and I've seen him on list and things like that. So there's definitely some intrigue, but he might be one of those fringe top five round guys. There's a fly ball. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that was going to stay fair. Oh, we'll take that all day. I don't know what the score is now, but that's, yeah, that's a triple. That's a, I powered it down the line. 4-0. That's good. Yeah, just got to stay patient. That's like uh, typical baseball there. This game, just because like it was not looking good early with my timing. In the oh, they're warming up. I got Nick right Hoffman in there in the bullpen. And this isn't their top pitcher. You know, what I've noticed, it's other teams tend to get on some sort of mix-up with their rotation. It's not true to form like the Friday night guy, their number one guy goes Friday. It kind of just, if they have a midweek, it kind of just varies. So anyways, this is their number three starter. And that's another reason why I was confident, even though he's left-handed. He doesn't really have high ratings. I think he's like a 78 overall. The other two guys who I th am expecting, Weatherly. I think Weatherly's like a 91. And then Sharp has a really high rating as well. I assume he'll start one of the next two games. But yeah, that's why game one was so important. Just because of the pitching matchup I felt really good about. And now you're seeing it here. we got this big lead. Takes a fastball inside. Let's go ahead and get that runner in, too. Hit on the ground oh, that's got it. I was hoping that'd get through. Whoa, where are you going? Yeah, that'll get a run in. We've definitely taken advantage of their miscues there. That will be an easy I'm putting the pressure error. on them. No oh, and the starter's out. Strider's out the of the Tigers game. Yeah, we're on a roll now. Oh, no. I got a bad jump. Oh, so, Terrell's a guy I'm curious about. 
hits this outside the first base I think line. if the one that's very intriguing is Freddy Zamora. Ground ball or right. You know, he's going to be hurt, still hurt. Would have missed the whole season. He's out of there. After four, it's he was a top 100 prospect going into the year. Is up next. You know, do teams take that gamble on a guy that's hurt? You know, with only, with you know, if there's five rounds, maybe you're only getting five or six draft picks, essentially. So do you want to take that gamble on a guy that's either nice injured ball. or even a guy that might not sign? It seems like, you know, when you have 40 rounds, you, you kind of have some leeway on some flexibility, maybe go after high-risk guys. But with less rounds, and, and Gino, when we talked after the season, he said the same thing. He thought teams would be wanting to, you know, do their homework even more to get a better sense on what a player might do. Man, this guy's spraying the ball all over the place. Got to keep the ball down. There. Oh, that's got to be strike three. But, yeah, I'm curious. And, and I had... I had heard, you know, Freddie was a little, um, and maybe he has a better sense now, but just at the time, kind of shortly after, just undecided, you know, not undecided, but just like unknown, had, didn't know where things were going to go. And this was, I remember before, yeah, this was even before they cut the rounds down. Just because he doesn't know where teams are going to draft him, you know, so it's tough for a guy like that to, have a plan on what he might do next year. So, and then everything has changed so much. Number 53 is really playing well. With the season Mike's getting canceled right and, and everything else, and, and again, five rounds. In the middle of the fifth. You're talking about Brian Van Bell, but Tyler Kaiser is another one, a senior. He was a late round pick last year, and decided to come back. You know, There's oh, that's a ball. nice. He got all of yeah, I hit the. Yeah, I hit the cover off that one. My goodness, see, that was definitely not weak hit. I timed that one up perfect, but again, they're going with the right-handed pitcher. I feel better about the right-handers. We've got this huge lead. I'm already, I'm already want to, yeah, I'm already thinking about the next, the game three. I, I'm excited about the live stream. We'll get to game two for sure. And again, I'm going to post that pretty quickly. So definitely tune in for both of those so you're ready to go for the live stream. It's a shallow left. He's on with a single. But yeah, we are cruising along. But yeah, those are the only two seniors. Well, they had three seniors. Chad Crosby, outfielder. He would already told Gino that he's planning on uh, transfer, not coming back. So. First and second with nobody out. And there's been, and I think if you guys have been following along, I, I've had some updates on there on the site on InsideTheU.com on guys that are leaving, you know, transfers, guys going to the portal, things like that. And it's right expected. Field. And I right think it's, it wouldn't surprise me if there's more. The I don't know the what the rosters are going to look like for next season with the amount of guys Number 51 is Miami has signed who won't get drafted that maybe would have and left or, Fly ball or right. you know these juniors the that, able to come in under it. that maybe would that gone. probably would have left if they were dropped where almost you know most guys tend to leave wherever they're drafted what we've seen over recent years so maybe they all so come back down. Raymond Gill's another one ball up the middle on to first that's the third so it, it's an just, speaking of Raymond Gill my oh my goodness minor MCL sprain I don't even know man okay we're gonna have to make some move there we will um we will be fine hopefully it's not serious I want to so Valdez plays third and right field that's kind of his position I have him at DH this game but that's what we'll do on the long term or however long Gill's out because Valdez has been hitting the ball really well so I feel okay about that for this game Paige or Tuero 
I'll go Page. We got a big lead. The Hurricanes are making a substitution. We'll get Page in there. Defensive. In as the Defensive guy. Get him out of bat. But yeah, that's not a. Uh, that's not good. So again, we've got. We've kind of dealt with a little injuries here and there. Nothing real big. We've had some suspensions to deal with. That's what Thomas is dealing with right now. But you know, that's next man up. You guys know that mentality. And we have a team that's more than capable of continuing to win, even though Gill's had a good year. Again, it said minor, so that makes me feel like maybe it's not going to be that bad, but any type of knee injury, though. Hit out to right. Yeah, the we'll right make adjustments. We'll go Valdez. Makes the catch for the first out. Don't really, I don't really feel, it's kind of just definitely, it doesn't even seem like a decision, really. I mean, I guess I could move, I could put Tuero over there. Left-handed bat, but Valdez definitely has got more power. There's a ground ball towards second so unless he really struggles, we're, we're just going to make him the out. everyday guy. Number 30 is up okay, next. Davis Sharp, we've got to lock in again. He's 0 for 2. Yeah, you see that 91 contact, 94 power. Two out, nobody on. Hit right right the there, there we go. Yeah, Van three Bell, three Van Bell doesn't care who he's facing. Yeah, look at that. Valdez has had a Freshman huge day. A chance here. Oh, I wanted to swing at that the one for sure. This one is crushed to right. Valdez, are you serious? Oh, this dude's ready to take over the starting job. That's what we're talking about. He's having a huge game. This is like the well, best game of the year for him. It looks like a fly ball off the bat. But it's a fly yeah, he ball looks like Raymond Gill doing that. Going. Carries it out for a big home run. Two doubles and a home run. That's yeah, he's player of the game, the probably. Game. Number two is now 0 for 3. Yeah, we'll take that. Today. So, and, and Valdez, just a little bit about him. There's he's a. Oh, did we get another ball. one? Oh, and my goodness. How did he. What the. To it for the out. Look at the break oh, that's right so fielder. sick. Great Look at that catch. I mean, that's tough. It's against us. Man, that's a catch. catch. But Valdez is a freshman. He wasn't playing much this season. Again, and and I and you see it with this series. It's, that bats are hard to come by. Playing time, there's so many other guys out there. But Valdez, out of Doral, plays third. Kind of bigger guy from Miami. He was playing a little right field. That's in time for the out. After six, it's eight to nothing. Again, a guy that, you know, if Gill moved on after this season, you would think Valdez would step in there at third. Number six is now 0 for 2. And now who knows today. with Valdez's opportunity. But, yeah, you see him there. He's got a little bit of power. Right-handed bat. The throw to first. He's on with the now he's got his opportunity. This ball hammered right back up the Ready for two. Number one is digging in. It's eight nothing. I kind of lose track of the score sometimes. I know we're scoring runs. But just the way Van Bell's been pitching. I definitely didn't feel like I needed a ton of runs, but this is great. Line drive, oh, get him. Crush down the right oh, that was close. Line. Almost got that double play. It's a short. He gobbles that ball up. It's in time. Oh, there's a double play. Yep, we got him. There we go. That's what we needed. Had to stay patient with that double play. In the middle of the seventh. Middle of the seventh. A couple runs and we're gonna run roll him. Only need ten runs. Ten run lead. And I'm not expecting that all weekend. Again, like I said, their starting pitcher wasn't great in terms of his ratings. Obviously gave me a little trouble early. But like I said earlier, too, you know, that series when I 
it was I can't remember. Was it NC State, Boston College, one of those schools, or maybe? Hit to right. Man, that's a nice hit. But I had the big win in the Number first game, and then the next two games, I was down like game. three, four, or five runs, something like Number that, in the seventh inning of both in games, game. and actually pulled it out and got the win. So, even though we've got a crazy good record. Number one team in the country. The Hurricanes are making a substitute. You know, it's not. I still have to grind out wins. I want to get JP going? Oh my goodness! What a play to get to that ball! I want to. I want to get him going. I was trying to get him in as a pitcher last weekend in the series, and I. It, I don't know. It just wouldn't let me do it, so I got to figure out a different way to get him in there. Or maybe it's just difficult if he's actually hitting also. I don't know. Because it, it recognizes it as you have a position player pitching it. Hit on the ground toward the second baseman. Over to Whoa, that's nice. That was weird. Like, like a chest pass. With seven innings... But that's okay. I wasn't trying to get a, a 10 run game on these guys. Wasn't expecting it. So we'll just keep this thing moving. However long the game takes is however it takes. That's baseball, right? Yeah, look, I'm trying to do that again. Yeah, see, I was. I tried the same thing last weekend. So they just don't seem, it just doesn't seem like I can do that. The problem isn't if Van Bell's at third or anything like that. It's that they don't like Gates pitching. So we'll figure something out. But I don't want Gates the playing third. He's not third baseman. He DHs pretty much all the time he hits. In practices, he works at first base. That's where he's worked out matters. at. But he's kind of had an interesting career at Miami already, even though it's only been, a, you know, to the left this was his second season. But he was thought of more as a pitcher, and I know they think of him highly as a pitcher. And last year, he had so much success at the plate. And actually pitching, you know, he, he got at least one start. I can look it up right now. Pulled down toward third. Let me finish this batter right quick. Hit to there the we go. First baseman. Makes the grab for out number. Oh, get there. The ball hit out what if right. I need to take him out? He's on with a single. I don't want them to start Number 15 teeing off next. on him when he's had such a good day. Let's turn two. Get it back over. Oh, we couldn't get that. Oh, that was already third in. All right, good. Now I'm going to look up this Gates thing. I had it right, right here. is digging in. Oh my goodness. Oh, see, I'm not even focused. But yeah, I, I was looking. So Gates, he had the 20 appearances last year and one start. And then he hit the ball really well. Oh, get out. Is that out? Oh, that's out. He never, he hardly ever hits home runs. That's Falar. Look at that. Staying locked in. I like it. So can we squeeze out another run? This is the last time we're going to bat. But I'd like to not go with the pitcher here. In the ninth. We're just cruising along, but with On Gates first, last summer, he didn't uh, he didn't hit the hit much. They had him pitching, 
and Cape Cod League. And I thought that was interesting, just that he didn't really worry about hitting, even though he had such a good year. So they definitely want him to pitch, and then you just didn't, you saw him hit the ball more this season. Again, they only played 12 games. Again, just trying to give some work. I'm going to get Garland in there. The Hurricanes are making and, a substitution. Uh, yeah, and, and, and he was a guy that did so well at the high school level as a starter. And so I think he's a guy, if you're thinking about how the rotation might be different next year, with, with Slade and McMahon expected to be gone, Van Bell can move on. So there's three guys out of your four-man rotation. So there'd be three spots available. Alex McFarland would have one of them, you would assume. And maybe Gates works himself into it. A starting job. Oh, that'll do it. That was good. I appreciate everybody jumping on. Again, we're going to come right back for game two. I've said it multiple times, but game three, we're going to go live. I'm so excited for that. This is a great start. Stay tuned for game two. I know Clemson's going to come back strong. We are going to be ready. Let's keep this winning streak going. A lot of good things today. No errors, which was good. I've been a lot better with that. And just grinding out this win in the sense that it didn't look good early. Got some hits. Then the extra base hits started coming. And the ball goes over the fence. So thanks again for watching. Hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss any action. We're going to bring out more videos all the time. we got to get through this season. Thanks again for watching.